What's up, citizens? John here from the Killer Bits, and today I am checking out Cryptarch from Alien Trap. And this is. Well, it's a roguelike, and you may recognize the name Alien Trap. I mean, they are the guys behind stuff like uh, Capsized and Apothean. And this is something a little different. I mean, we've got the space theme again, they seem to like that kind of stuff. But uh, this is a roguelike, and it's a kind of a twin stick shooter. I mean, just just as a word of note, it, it seems to automatically kind of default to gamepad. It, it keeps going, well, you've not got a gamepad control, uh, connected. But I, I'm, I'm actually playing with keyboard and mouse because I think it actually works a little better. I mean, it's a bit kind of binding of eyes. Attention all crew, we've made contact with the outskirts of the target flotilla. Make ready to commence pioneer operations immediately. Our contractors have hired us to locate and secure a flagship class derelict they're calling the Cryptarch. There's some piece of premium Xenotech on board they want to get their hands on, and we're the ones who landed the job. To find the Cryptarch's position within the fleet, and how to open it up, we'll have to shake down a number of these subjacent vessels for intel. Unfortunately, it won't be easy. These ghost ships have some onboard security built to last, so we'll have to blast our way in. This straggler will be a good target to stretch our legs and test the temperature of the water. So, as I was saying, yeah, it's, it's a twin stick, bit kind of, you know, Biden and Isaac and other kind of roguelikes like that. Uh, but it's, um, you basically pilot this kind of mech suit. In fact, this mech suit. So, as I say, it defaults to gamepad, but I'm using keyboard and mouse because I think it feels a bit better. So, as, as you'd imagine, mouse is your look and WASD is your movement and you just blast around. I mean, we have got a boost on space. Anyway, mouse look, but one is our machine gun, which is kind of our primary weapon. But our secondary weapon, uh, which is for some reason our middle mouse, is this kind of ram attack. And I initially thought this was kind of a bit of a naff one. But as you actually play, you actually find it's actually probably... You'll probably be using it more than you think because it's it's kind of like the most effective because it's a, like a one-hit kill on most enemies. And we've got a shield on... on right mouse button which I never tend to use because I'm too busy trying to shoot stuff or run away from it anyway uh, the roguelike element as I say it, this is classed as a roguelike uh, it's mainly because of this uh, each ship you come across is kind of randomly generated so every time you play even on the tutorial level it is this randomly generated map and the, the goal is to destroy the core as you might imagine and to do that you basically have to blast away at it, but you've got these kind of sub modules that kind of uh, kind of help to take down the main objective. So obviously, if you take down the shield generator, it's going to be a lot easier to take down the core. But you've also got stuff like sentry system and there's uh, like central locking and all that kind of thing. So it's it's your choice because I mean, if you noticed up in the top left-hand corner, there is three minutes and eleven seconds to complete this mission. So you can try and take down everything and destroy as many enemies as possible and all that kind of thing. Or you can basically take down what objectives you need. So uh, let me check the map again. Which is our best way in? So uh, we've got to take out the shield. Uh, but we have got a red door in our way. Uh, so way around that. We could go through that white one and then circle around. Is there a way of... No, there's no good way there, no good way there. I think we're going to have to. This is kind of the random generation thing in. So, I mean, th this would kind of be an ideal way in, but the, that door is obviously locked. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to go there, go up towards the core and then double back on ourselves. Which is a pain in the ass, but it says necessary evil. So let's do that. Speedy Gonzalez, our way through. There we go. Uh, and we're in. 
and automatically there you go that's that's your kind of secondary attack and it's the most effective one oh there we go we've got a turret take out the turret take out the turret to go oh, there we go right you see the brain glowing oh no we don't want to go in here there's a dead end so yeah Another thing with the, the random generation of the maps, obviously there's going to be lots of dead ends and stuff like that to deal with. Oh, headbutt one another. There you go, a rearm. So obviously if we've spent a lot of our kind of ammo in that, that would be a good place to rearm, but we don't need it. We'll just, we'll take this key though. Oh, blast that one. Go on. Oh, for God's sake, stop moving around. There you go, right, right, we'll take that key, just in case we need it. We'll take this bonus tech as well, we might as well. So, as you can see, this is the shield generator. Now, the white things will reflect our bullets, so we've got to hit the centre. So, it's, it's basically got a weak point. And we have to time it. We could try and follow it round, but more often than not, you get bounced away. Uh, so I just find it's easier just to wait. A little patience is a bit more effective on this one. And there we go. We've taken that out. Uh, we can grab this key as well. Not that we actually need it. Uh, and let's head to the main objective. We have got, uh, ooh, 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 we've got a minute to go. Oh no. Right, he's gonna say we're taking too much damage. Yeah. So if we hit there we go, one, two, it's uh, There we go. Avoid the pink blobby things and try and take out the brain. Uh, 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 avoid the, the shots. Uh, let's get some grenades in there. Uh, we'll use use our other. I thought we took out the shield. There we go. F F F. Jobs are good, un. and we're with 10 seconds to spare. How about that? So that is the game in a nutshell. It is, as I say, twin stick, roguelike. Find find all the subsystems, take them out, and then you can take out the, the main objective. And as you can see in the bottom of the screen there, we have essentially five kind of uh, ships we have to take out before we can get to the Crypt Arc. Uh, and each, each level we can... Uh, basically you have a choice of these different ships. Each one has got a, a different value reward. We'll try and keep this short. So we'll try and go for the easier one, the cheapest one. Uh, so yeah, 72. Uh, that's just got alarms. It's got its core. It's got the doors. It's got turrets and a shield. So yeah, let's go for that. And we can actually now alter our loadout. Yeah, yeah. Stop talking. Stop talking. I want to just get on with it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yes. We will do that. And we've also got four item slots. Yes. So, as you see, I don't tend to use my uh, shield a lot. So, let's up the this hull strength. And let's get rid of the, the shield in favour of... Oh, we've got a, a new bombs. Proximity grenades. Uh, no, we'll go with shotgun. Yeah, and we can actually up the uh, ammo for that as well. So there you go. Uh, we've got uh, basically machine gun and uh, shotgun. We've got our grenades. And I think we'll add... Another med kit and 
a key is always handy. As you saw, there was also an option of a nuke, but I think that's a little overkill. But yeah, I think that's a pre pretty decent loadout. And as you can see in the bottom right, just next to the map, we've got 500,000. Now, you, you, as he's saying, we won't actually uh, lose what we've uh, spent on ammo until we leave. So let's just have a quick look at the ship first. So we need to take out the alarms and the shields for it. There may actually be a path. And so if we we come in this way, we might be able to get all three of those before we can get to it. It depends on how big that gap is. That one there, just underneath the, the sign. Because as I say, it is all kind of randomly generated. So um, it can be occasionally there is stuff in the way that kind of blocks these kind of smaller entries. Uh, I mean, big, big obvious paths like this, uh, you should have no problem getting through. But I think if we go in this door, we'll take out the alarm, come back on ourselves, shield, sentry gun, brain. I think that's our best bet. I mean, to relatively short level, it's we've got been given four minutes. So I think we can do this. Right, let's go. And there we go, we've got our money taken out for the weapons, and... Uh, okay, it was... No, it wasn't that one, that was the locked door, it's back here... There we go. And we're in! Oh, we can get some tech straight away. Whoa, what the hell was that? Cluster grenade... Oh! Uh, right. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's the green glue, goopy stuff? Uh, he's new. Yes. Oh, that's the alarm one. Okay, right. The alarm is a pain in the ass. Basically, you don't want to touch the. Uh, uh, okay, that that's not good. The weird alien Pisces thing. There. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now. As with all the, the these, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 no fixing, no, no, no. How, how were you able to get through the door without opening it up? Right, let's, let's, uh, no, 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 don't touch the red beam. Yeah, so as I say, all the kind of modules kind of have the weak point in the center and you have to get around that. So you, you, you normally have to wait for them to open themselves up. So I mean, if we, if we were to go away, that basically that alarm thing would shut down and it would close up and we wouldn't be able to hit it. So we, we have to activate it to a certain extent. Go away. Um, come on, oh, a couple of last hits. Oh, come on. There we go. And we could do with some ammo. So we got any ammo around here? Let's have a look at the map. Mm, no. Okay, we might have to start ramming stuff and hold ammo for... So I mean, we'd have to go all the way over here to get ammo. That would involve going through several doors. Yeah. I think we're just going to have to be a bit more conservative with our ammo. I do just kind of spray and pay. Uh, some spray and play? Uh, <laughs> spray and pray. Uh, so, we want the shield is up there. Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, that's... Right, okay. Shield. As I say, the shield is probably the easier one. But it just takes patience. Don't waste any ammo. And the fact that we're wedged up against the board is, is nice because we're not have, having to suffer the recoil. Right, okay. Now, the gun is a pain in the ass. We can only shoot when it's it's opened up like that, and don't don't get blasted by the uh, plasma essentially. Uh, let's see, and it disappears back in. There we go. Okay, right. Uh, we've got 50 seconds to destroy the brain. Oh. Oh, where did we go? Where did we go? Uh, I, 
I think we might. We might. Yeah, we go. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 Nelly. Ah. Okay. Ammo, uh, not ammo. Health kits, health kits. Yeah. Oh uh, no, 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 no! Stay away from the pink blobby things. They do a lot of damage. Uh, no. He's been a pain in the ass. Oh no, two of them. Oh no, it's all going pear shaped for us. Oh, the health pack. There we go, okay. We're running out of time. Yes, yes, I know. I thought I had enough time. Yes, right, okay, right. Grenades. That's what we need, grenades. Got 500 rounds. Yes, we can do this now. Oh, no, 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 no. Grenade. There we go. And only 20 seconds over, so we should only lose a little bit of money. But, yep, yeah, so this is Cryptarch, and it's, it's not bad. I, I'm actually enjoying this. Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, these kind of almost shmup type uh, roguelikes, because um, I'm not very good at them, as you could probably tell. But there is something quite appealing to it about this. I mean, the fact that it is in early access, so it is a bit rough around the edges. But it it certainly shows potential, and it's better than some ro uh, some uh, early access titles out there. Um, yeah, I I think this one has legs. I think it's got a lot of potential. Uh, the obviously the the procedural generation of it will give it some uh, longevity and replayability. And if if as they uh, carry on with early early access, they kind of polish the the few little bugs. I mean, I, I've not noticed anything major. It's just kind of some of the, the controls are a bit niggly. As I say, it seems to automatically want to default to uh, gamepad controls and things like that. It's They're all little annoyances more than anything. Um, but it's not not major issues. Oh, oh there's a lot of guys. Oh, no, there's... Uh, yeah. Um, I think this may have been the wrong door to come in. Oh... Uh, yeah, uh, can we leave, please? Yeah, uh, let's see if we can find a better door. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so if you fancy checking it out, I'm going to leave a link down below uh, where you can find out more information. And if you want to get in touch with us, obviously you can do in the comments below or on Twitter at The Killer Bits or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash The Killer Bits. Oh, oh, God, there's so many enemies in this one. Uh Shotgun, shotgun blasts all the way round. Grenades. Oh, it's a it's a shitstorm. Um, yeah, this was probably a bad idea. Oh no, the alarm's gone off. Oh yeah. <laughs> the system is protected by a defensive shield. Yeah, I've noticed that. And knock out the generator before we can scratch it. Yeah, yeah, I might have screwed this one up. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, until next time, guys. I will see you anon. Bye!